hello guys welcome to another video of sonar cube in today's video we are going to discuss how to fail our pipelines if quality gate in your sonar cube has failed okay so we'll see all type of pipeline generally we will do this in azure pipelines here we have a yaml pipeline for sonar cube we will try and see how we can fail this pipeline okay and we will also see how we can do that in jenkins or bitbucket pipelines or github actions pipeline okay so this is my sonar cube uh, portal if i go to projects i can see i have two projects here and if i go to quality go gates there is it there is a default quality gate sonar way you can either use that for this you have these many conditions or if you want to create a new quality gate you can create from here as well okay so here our condition is all these like new code has zero issues new security hotspot are reviewed or coverage is greater than or equal to 80 percent so these are the conditions so your pipeline will fail only or quality gate will fail if this can conditions are not met during pipeline run okay so let me go to my pipeline and this is the sonar cube pipeline which i have already created created in previous videos let me edit it and see what are the tasks we have So we, if we see here, we have the .NET task to download the .NET. After that, we have Sonar Cube prepare task, which will initialize this project. Okay, in Sonar Cube. After that, we have the .NET build. This will build the code, and finally, it will analyze the code and publish the report. After that, we are archiving that zip file and publishing it to the Azure artifact. Okay, so generally, when I mean this should be the condition ideally that if quality gate, suppose we are running a Sonar Cube scan and our quality gate has failed, then of course our, pi our pipeline should fail if either that is in uh, our build pipeline or in the pull request pipeline suppose you have integrated this pipeline in pull request and added the condition like uh, added the sonar cube run a scan in your pull request pipeline then there should be some condition to fail the pipeline whenever quality gate is failed so if you come here open a success release and go to extensions here you will see the status of quality gate okay if i open the extensions i can see the sonar cube quality analysis report and quality gate passed this is the project name and quality gate is passed so if you if your quality gate is failed here then our pipeline should fail okay so to do that you will have to just add a additional property here in your sonar cube prepare task simply edit it and here we have if you go to advanced setting and in additional properties you will have to add a property like sonar dot quality gate dot weight is equal to true okay so what this will do this will basically wait till uh, your sonar cube analysis has been run and will keep polling the result and if quality gate status is failed then this will fail your pipeline okay you can also include the timeout to fail i mean to wait uh, to specify the time timeout for the this analysis to run 
if till that time your analysis analysis is not completed you i mean this pipeline will fail okay you can also see this in sonar cube documentation if you come here you can see the failing of pipeline job when the quality gate fails okay you have if you have jenkins pipeline you can follow this tutorial if you have uh, github actions then you can follow this or if you had bitbucket have bitbucket pipelines you can follow this tutorial for other pipelines like azure devops or if you are using something else you can is those uh, use this property sonar keep quality gate dot weight is equal to true so let me copy it and paste it here which i have already pasted okay this is our property apart from this you can also add this timeout property so suppose you want to give this as 300 so it will basically wait uh, for 5 minutes if within 5 minutes your analysis is not completed then it will fail your pipeline okay and the, this condition sonar dot quality gate dot weight is equal to true this will wait for the analysis to run and if the quality gate is failed this will also fail your pipeline because this will keep polling the status of quality gate okay in regular intervals okay if you come here and if you have set i mean created a new quality gate for you you can modify the conditions here as well and test your pipeline okay so that's it from this video we have seen how we can fail the pipeline when we need to do that in azure pipeline in azure devops if you have to do this in some other ci cd pipelines you can follow this tutorial or you can follow this documentation if i suppose open my jenkins here you can see all the things related to jenkins like how we can configure and fill the pipeline okay same will be for github actions as well as bitbucket pipelines since we are doing this in Azure DevOps, we have used this property sonar.qualitygate.weight is equal to true. Okay, so this will fail the pipeline. And suppose if you are using this pipeline in pull request, then uh, until this is successful or until this is fixed, your pull request cannot be merged, or someone from your team cannot merge their, their pull request until the issue has been resolved in sonar cube okay if you add it so simply let's add it you can see this will add all the things here with all the details like sonar.qualitygate is equal to true sonar.qualitygate.timeout is equal to 300 we have added this task here so suppose this is my task we have added with ms build if you are using this with maven or standalone uh, scanner then you can specify that in additional properties or if you have some properties file then you can also do that you can directly refer that and uh, specify all these additional settings in your sonar cube properties file okay so that's it from this video we'll meet in another video with some different topic if you like this video video please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching